welcome to Insightful Gaming. In Helldivers 2, picking the right armor, light, medium, or heavy, can totally change your game. It affects everything from your survival time to how you move and fight. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay on top of all things Helldivers. Now, let's get into it. When you're ready to gear up, head over to the Acquisitions menu, which is kind of like the game's version of a battle pass. Here, you'll use medals for most armor purchases, but some might cost you super credits. Once you've got your new armor, you can equip it in the armory on your ship. Just open the menu, find the armor section, and pick your gear. You'll see all the stats and special perks for each armor type there. Choosing heavy armor makes you a tank. You're the one who can take a bunch of hits from gunfire and explosions without going down. This armor gives you more health and makes you less likely to be knocked back or stunned in the heat of battle. But heavy armor has its cons. It slows you down, making escapes and dodges tougher especially when your stamina starts to drain fast. It's great for battles against enemies who attack from a distance because it can soak up a lot of damage. However, in close combat, like when bugs swarm you, heavy armor might not be the best choice. You'll want something lighter to help you move faster and dodge those attacks. Heavy armor is the MVP against robots firing rockets and bullets at you, where dodging isn't as critical. It offers you a stamina regeneration of 56, which isn't great, and boosts your armor rating to a solid 144, making you super tanky. But it does cut your speed down to 456, making you slower than if you were wearing medium or light armor. To wrap it up, throw on that heavy armor when you're up against a lot of ranged attackers. But if you're getting up close and personal with melee fighters, you might want to opt for light or medium armor to keep your dodging game strong. Switching gears to light armor in Helldivers 2, it's all about favoring speed and agility over the ability to absorb a lot of damage. This choice significantly influences your gameplay, pushing you towards fast movements and smart positioning rather than just powering through attacks. Light armor might not shield you much from physical or explosive hits, but it compensates by letting you zip across the battlefield and recover stamina faster than any other armor type. This makes dodging and sprinting much easier, offering a solid advantage, especially when battling against swarms of bugs. The key perks of choosing light armor are pretty clear, you can move around the battlefield swiftly, get to your objectives quicker than your teammates, and easily sidestep enemy blows. Another bonus is that actions like running and jumping don't drain your stamina as quickly, keeping you on the move without frequent pauses, giving you an early boost in speed. But light armor isn't without its flaws. Wearing it means you're at a higher risk in fights since you can't take as many hits, and with a smaller health bar, every mistake counts. You're also more likely to get knocked back or stunned by enemies, which can really throw off your game. Facing off against a bunch of foes at once can be particularly tough, as you don't have much in the way of damage resistance. From my experience, light armor really shines in scenarios where you're mainly up against bugs. However, when robots enter the fray, sticking with light armor can get tricky fast. I've had to switch to heavy armor to stand a better chance against the mechanical menace. In Helldivers 2, Choosing medium armor is like picking the best of both worlds. It doesn't push you to the extremes of light and heavy armor but instead offers a balanced mix that can handle a bit of everything. This armor type gives you enough resilience to survive more hits than the light armor, without making you feel like a slow-moving target like the heavy armor might. Medium armor is your go-to for moderate protection. It shields you from physical and explosive damage better than light armor but won't bog you down. You'll enjoy a decent speed and stamina balance, meaning you can still make quick moves and not tire out too fast. It's like having your cake and eating it too, with stamina regeneration and resource use that won't leave you high and dry in the middle of action. It's ideal for players and teams that don't want to be boxed into a single role. Whether the mission calls for quick movements or holding your ground, medium armor gives you the versatility to handle it all. Medium armor shines for players who pride themselves on being able to adapt to any situation. If your team's strategy is all about flexibility, Having someone in medium armor can really make a difference, allowing your squad to pivot tactics as needed. It's also a solid pick for those who like to plan their moves, offering a balanced approach to offense and defense. On the other hand, if you're all about specializing in one area, like speed or defense, medium armor might feel a bit middle of the road for you. Teams that rely on very specific roles might also find medium armor a bit too generalist for their liking. And if you're finding that you're still taking too many hits in medium armor, it might be time to consider switching to heavy armor for that extra layer of protection. In short, medium armor in Helldivers 2 is all about giving you the flexibility to face a wide range of challenges without locking you into one way of playing. 
Whether you're diving into the fray for the first time or you're looking to fine-tune your approach to combat, Medium Armor prepares you for whatever comes your way, making sure you're always ready to adapt and succeed. That wraps up our session for today. If you enjoyed the rundown, don't forget to hit that like button hard, subscribe for more awesome content, and ring that notification bell to make sure you're always up to date on the gaming tips and tricks that matter most to you. Until our next adventure, keep on gaming, and I'll catch you in the next video. No way, bro. Why did I die? Oh, nice. Literally stomped on me. Got okay, reinforced on my head. I'm up, yeah. Yeah, land on his back. Yeah. There you go. Got it. <laughs> you got the achievement stimming you. Shield is nice though. Freedom never sleeps. Ready to liberate. Sometimes the price of victory is the blood of heroes. How about a nice cup of liberty? Magnum D! For the love of liberty, my legs! Another triumph from managed democracy. May liberty guide. This thing doesn't do well against